Good morning, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today I'm exploring more of Koh Lanta Island. It's been fantastic and I have another beautiful day and this time I am not at a beach. I'm at a viewpoint which is not marked, uh, there's no signpost or anything. I found it on a map and it does have a good view over the eastern side of the island. Let me show you what it's like. It's a bit of a rough road up here but I did get the bike up here. No problem there, I don't know if I'll get it down or not. It's a very quiet spot, no tourists up here. And here is the view. Now I've got a bit of a hazy day, but it's still a beautiful view. Let me take you out and show you. It'd be a great spot to have a picnic. Except I didn't bring any food. Making my way towards the old town through the hills and I saw a sign for my cow, I think that's how you say it, cave. So I turned down, came down a little track, found the entrance here. It's 12 o'clock midday, but apparently it's closed till 1.30. It looks quite nice, but let's have a look. We welcome all, here we go. Here's some information. Welcome all visitors to Ko Meow Cow Cave. It's the largest cave in Koh Lanta with existing stalactites inside. It takes two hours overall trip. One hour for sightseeing, and the rest traveling from the office to the cave. Our tour guides, okay. Please contact you have travel with our guides only because it's a private area. So, information, parking, buy ticket, only with guide. And uh, park the bike, let's go and check how much it is. And maybe I'll just have to carry on to Old Town, get some lunch, come back at 1.30 and then do the tour. What do you think? Definitely lunch. And I finally made it to Coland Island, Old Town. Now it used to be the main pier and jetty on the island when they were doing trade that way, but then they built the bridge the other side and the short ferry and the town really sort of went into retirement, I guess. Not really much happened. Now, it's sort of revitalized a little bit as a tourist destination. It kept a lot of its old character, the old wooden shops built on the water on one side and the, the like, uh, shop houses on the other side. It's a bit of a tourist place, but it's quite nice and relaxing. It's not very busy, much quieter than the west side because we're on the east side of the island here. Got my west and east sorted out now. You can wander down, most of it is souvenirs drinks, ice creams, beers and places to eat and I am on the hunt for somewhere to get something to eat. There's lots of seafood here because obviously it's right on the coast but I'm not looking for seafood. I see that gr grandma's breakfast, grandma's house. Uh, mm, mm. It's something more than ice cream. Oh that does a fresh apple pie. Oh, oh, oh red curry, pad thai curry. Oh so many things and sea view. Mm. So much choice.
Sizzler. Thank you. visit to Old Town, I am back at the cave, May Cow Cave, I think it's called. They are now open, next group leaves in about half an hour, so I've got a cold drink, relax, and then we will go and explore these caves. Amazing, we only went through a small part of the cave, but it is incredible. They are huge caves, and then you climb through these tiny little things on your belly. I did not like that. Bats, spiders, <sighs> waterfalls, stalactites, stalagmites. It was great, hot in it. I am dripping wet, and I'm sorry my camera footage will be, probably be terrible. I'll show you what I can, but I have no idea how to capture how incredible it is in there. But if you're afraid of dark places, small places, I'm being inside, <laughs> that's not for you. <laughs> I'm actually glad to be out in this beautiful forest. 